Hey everybody, it's SK again. In the last episode we had completed, I guess, like the first couple of uh, quests in the Xylart Jiggery do I guess I'm now going and searching for graves along the world shores and something along those lines. Uh, but for now I'd like to try something completely different because if you see down at the bottom here, where I'm kind of trying to run but you can't because you know it's like an abstraction of the world, um, I actually have eight merit points from uh, trying to get ready for what I'm actually doing in this episode, which is going to be trying to get the remainder of my warrior AF. Now, intrinsically, why am I getting warrior AF? Because warrior AF is kind of like really freaking bad. I'm, I'm looking back upon it and I'm like, why the fuck did I spend so much time trying to get this stuff? This shit is terrible. Like everything has plus enmity on it. A warrior isn't a tank in this game. Maybe that's due to just bad design. Maybe it was supposed to be a tank, but it ain't a fucking tank. Which is hilarious, because if you look at all the relic gear, like all the plus 75, like 80 plus onwards, even the stuff that you actually use for like the AF gear that you transmute into like a, a higher level gear, and all of a sudden just loses plus enemy and gets like shit loads of attack. And I think that's hilarious, because they're like, yeah, so about that whole tanking thing? Yeah, you don't, just, just don't, just don't, it's, it's fine. But really the reason I'm getting it one, completionist sake too, pretty fucking awesome looking, especially with Scorpion Harness. The actual, like, chest piece is kind of like, eh, but with Scorpion Harness, that's some of the badass looking stuff you've ever seen in your life. But first, we need to talk to Nomad Mooga McGee here and get my level cap unlocked, damn it. Kindred's Crests. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't want to know about merit points, thank you. So I need Kindred's Crests from Mamao Case. Also, I got three of these while, if you can see right here, I got the Nest Key LDM Coffer Key and the one for Castles of All Baileys. That was fun. Uh, because that is where warriors have their, like, coffer stuff majigs. Why? And <laughs> that's where they wanted to be. That's where it's going to be. Uh, which is why I now have eight merit points because I was just like, hey, I'm a level 80. I don't necessarily have to be a warrior to get the coffer keys. So I decided to save myself a little bit of sanity and get the coffer keys ahead of time, and then just run around and grab them as my level 52 Nublet Warrior Town. Town? Nublet Warrior. So, Kindred's Crests. Kindred's Crests. I need five, I think it said? Five, right? That sounds about right. I hope so, because that's what I'm trading them. Better not skip me, motherfucker. Little fuzzy bastard. Let's see if this cutscene is any different than the last one. I don't think it is. It's one the superlative in that case. Or in that case, without further ado. Yoo-hoo! Mr. Major Mookerman! Over here, come on! Yes, yes, I'm coming already. You keep your voice down, right? You can hear you hooting and hollering from a mile away, Cooper. Seems the poor fellow's resigned himself to his fate. Oh, whoops. Seems the poor fellow's resigned himself to his fate. Same deal as last time, got a couple? And today we'll also be recruiting the services of a very special guest. What? Isn't this the music from fishing? How to do, fatty waddies? <laughs> oh, I love Taru Taru. They have the capability of being the most insulting assholes ever, but they sound so cute when they're doing it. Hey, fatty waddies! PC that, bitch! Ladies and gentle muggles, I proudly present Perika Perinke, esteemed researcher of entrological Entrological magic from Mendoza University, who was kind enough to take time away from his data gathering for this special occasion. Come on! Perika Perinke, the self styled brown mage? I think we get the feeling we're in for a real mess this time. Brown mage? What the hell is a brown mage? Honor to me here, my pudgy purple winged friends. I'm hoping to test out my latest laxative spell, but Lady my lad has been barren as a set of freshly evacuated but- Oh my god, really? Really? He practices shit magic! Okay, I'm intrigued! Please continue! This is just the belly-bursting opportunity I've been looking for. <clears throat> the most room for a fish found to power inside you, we must first expel the- Oh no. A simple truth, no? Uh, my stomach's getting queasy just thinking about it. What? Very well, come and kneel down right before me. 
Perky Perky, you may take your position over there. All right, prepare to have your innards turned inside out. And you, my friend, prepare to unleash the most vigorous volley of Moogle magic you've managed. Come on! Understood. I'm ready whenever the rest of you are. Let us begin! Yeah, I sure hope this works. Come on! I mean, talk about a fucking brown note. Bulging belly. Is that it? Ah, never mind. First! He just shot a laxative spell at me. That's magical X lax. What the fuck, man? Somebody's got some Tylex, right? The gushing font of power explode from her bowels, coursing through her veins and limbs. Of course it's through her bowels, so you're just saying she farted magic and power? Ah, glorious success! The last time I tried that one, I was scrubbing my lab clean for a month! I don't know who was more frightening, this fellow or the Moogle who brought him here. How curious, the more excruciating the pain they endure, the stronger these adventurers grow. Perhaps my trials are not as torturous as they should be. I'm sorry? <clears throat> nothing, nothing at all. You're looking fine? Fettle, my adventuring friend. Go out there and get him! Farewell! Woo! I can't thank you enough! Why, you've given me enough data to write a year's worth of reports. Next time you're getting feel a little back whacked up, you know who to call. Tataru! That's... I didn't read this quest last time. Because I think I would have remembered Ataru practicing shit magic on me. Procedures of a staggering success. Whole new, whole new horizons await you out there, and I suspect you're feeling famished. Go and feast to your heart's content, so I can shit rainbow magic? Is that is that the idea we're getting here? Alright. So. That's a thing that happened. That That is literally a thing that just happened. I was, I was granted a level cap by the power of shit magic. All right, moving on to something completely different. We are going to be grabbing the AF gear from my warrior warrior. Wait, I can't even do that. I can't do the Taru Waru thing because it starts with a warrior. So it'd be like warrior warrior. And at that point, it's just like, what Taru warrior? Warrior Taru? I don't fucking know. There's, there's, there's a Taruism in there somewhere. I just can't be asked to think of it right now. But yeah, so congratulations, guys. Good, good job, team. Go, team, go. We are now eligible to get level 85 through the powers of poop magic. I mean, you know, fantasy setting and all. I mean, shit, do you know how many times WoW's done it? Do you know how many poop fetching quests WoW had? I will never forget digging through piles of. What the fuck were those things called? Talbot poop from the Grand Cherries so I could use that to breathe underwater for another quest. I still have 20 of those in my inventory somewhere. I think the quest only gives you five now. Mainly because they give you like an hour of breathing before it was like two minutes. Anyway, back to this game. Uh, change jobs. Port job, boom, main job, boom. Port job, boom. Shaka laka. All oh, that splishity splashity. Timey wimey stuff. Did I get anything cool? Cha-ching! Thank you, Mr. Beast coin for being you know, uh, apparently a rather fetching price. I mean, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Excuse me? What do you mean try again in a little while? There you go. I mean, to be fair, um... Shit, who has weapons? Ow. Oh, it would also help if I had the right screen. So yeah, I got a lot of, uh... I got three of these. And a metric shit ton of scorpion claws. I may actually keep one of these for... Dragoon, because it act they seem kind of like eh, it doesn't seem that bad. But otherwise, it's like eh. Well, actually, damage forty-eight, three ninety-six. What do, what do I actually? What do I have equipped? Damage sixty. yet, yeah, no, fuck that. Nope. Done. Done. I also got a bow somewhere. I don't know where, but it exists somewhere out there. I wanted to make a. 
somewhere out there do 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 or something i can't there's like an 80s song from a movie was it fievel's what the hell was was it an american tale was that the song with fievel the mouse the russian mice that that emigrated to the united states or something something it was a good movie but i haven't watched it since i was like four anyway uh let's get back to the point which is uh video gamey goodness again oh let me get that taken care of as well. I got myself a samurai testimony. From what I understand, uh, you only need to do the 75 cap quest once now, instead of for every single class. Which makes me a little bit sad, so I think I might just go ahead and do it myself anyway at level 70, just to be like, boom, here you go. Now, granted, you know, I got trust now, so it's completely irrelevant. But at some point I might just be like, eh, you know, maybe I don't want to use trust, you know? Maybe I'll just try to quote-unquote man-mode it. And yes, I do have to add the quote-unquote because, um, you know, I got boobs and all that. So, without further ado, let's travel to Bestock. No. No, 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 no. Where do I get that quest? Guys, up. Borgertz is wearing hands. Warring hands? Wearing... Warring... <laughs> Borgertz is warring hands. Jesus. Oh, no, he's an upper Juno. Okay, never mind. I was... Heading straight to the wrong person. Travel. Current region, Upper Juno. And I think the exit might be closer. Because I think this is pretty much the same quest that most jobs have. After doing their AF quest, this is the, hey, here's the ability to unlock the uh, coffer key quest, yada yada, purple monkey dishwasher. Oh, the other way may have actually been faster. Oh well. But I think you have to do this particular quest to unlock. Because, I mean, you can get the coffer keys anywhere. And you can unlock the coffer keys, but without being on this particular quest, you may not actually get an item. Or the the, uh, the quest item. You have to be on the quest to be able to do all the things and the stuff. And I think I just walked past what the hell I needed. Age 8. Derp. Derp derpa. There we go. I remember where I'm going now. Remember when this shit was actually closed at a certain part of the day? That was good times. Where the hell is he? Yo, Guzlum. My man. Guzlum. We're in the armor shop, not the weapon shop. Herp derp. I herp the derp, guys. I apologize. Okay. So, Guzlum. Yo, my man, talk to me. I was hired to craft armor for this shop, but all I ever do is watch over the inventory. I want to hone my skills repairing armor, but, but boy, I was wrong. It was never repaired. It's replaced. Kept for generations. Borgerts, yes, I have. Tell them, yes, I do know about him. Masterpieces. Deadly Minnow has a really awesome name, even though, and he's probably one of the only creatures alive that can actually pull off Subligar without looking super weird about it. But maybe that's because... Gulk are, are asexual creatures and they don't have nuts. I, I have no idea. Alrighty, so. I have opened the quest, yes? So LDM Necropolis is where I need to go first. Oof, whoop the f and do. You can tell I'm super thrilled about that. So I have to open the coffin LDM Necropolis to attain the old gauntlets. You do not have to be the job seeking AF to obtain the key item. You just need to have activated the hands quest for the specific job. However, to get the other two, I do need to be this AF that the particular job, I guess, because otherwise the system has like a shit fit and it doesn't know what you're trying to grab, I guess. Because I mean, I, I can understand why from like, um, this is not what I need. Whatever. Hang on. Brain, brain, where, where you at? What are you doing? Current region, okay. I, I know where my brain's going. Okay, so Mog House. Go up here. That way I can use the teleport majiggery, the book, to go right to LDM Necropolis. Which I still dislike. Garley Citadel is still the worst. I hate it so much. LDM Necropolis is not that bad now that I have that little bullshit key item that just opens the doors regardless. That makes life a lot easier. But then again, so do a lot of things in the game make the life of words and, okay, sentence structure. There are a lot of things that have been made easier recently in the game, which 
like I said, I'm frankly okay with because there were some things in the game that were just... It wasn't necessarily difficult. It was tedious. You know, I mean, it was designed to be quote-unquote difficult to build a community and, and all that good stuff, but shit was tedious. I mean, like, look at the, the Temple of Ugg that I went through and just... And I mean, that was like, a, that was an easy watered down version. The fact that I could actually just run back up, grab the thing and w run back down. There was a time in which you could not do that. <laughs> there, was, there was no goddamn way in hell you're going to be able to do that kind of stuff. Okay, configuration. Uh, no, not config, macros. Copy. Copy, yeah. Paste. Copy. I'm sure there's a way to actually, like, change these, right? There's gotta be, right? I mean, I, I could probably just stop what I'm doing and look at it, but that would take time and effort and anything to that effect, so I would just prefer to do this instead, because I'm lazy. But, you know, there was a time, I'm willing to bet, that that particular quest in which you had to light all four torches to open the door. You actually needed four fucking people to do that. Not six, not twelve. You needed four people to be willing to come into the Den of Rancor and the Temple of Ugalef to light the damn candles to open the door for one person. And as evidenced by whatever the fuck it is I did wrong, um, if you light them in the wrong order, you don't light all of them, the shit don't open up. So you're in kind of for a world of hurt. Hi, how you doing? How's it going? Hi. What's up? How's it going? Good? Great. Okay, so I need to get to an LDM coffer. Now, the fun thing about the coffers is that they're, like, all the fuck everywhere. This is... Where is this? Is this Norvellon? LDM Necropolis. That's the map I'm already on. So, what the fuck? Norvellon, LDM Necropolis. Map 3? Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, yeah. There are coffers down there. So it's primarily in the... B... B... Like the A, B, and D region. Never mind. And then wherever the fuck that is. Somewhere along those lines. But yeah, so there's coffers in... Again, the pink ones are coffers. The thing about this area is that... The coffers are split into like four different maps. Sucks. Like that's just a that's where I am right now. Somewhere, somehow. Doesn't make any sense. I think the screen's like freaking out a little bit. Okay, so let's try. So in that case, what is the first map? That? You know what? I'm not gonna pretend to understand why the hell. Oh, first things first, though. I always forget that this is a thing that exists in this game, even though it's, like, the best thing ever. Uh, region... I've never actually gotten this, so I may as well get it now, you know, since I'm here. Because it gives me free shit, and I like free shit. So I just need to find a treasure coffer. Somewhere. Somewhere out... Okay, I won't do that anymore. But if you saw, nah, words. But in case you guys haven't noticed, I am a level 52 nublet in a sea of level f not 52 mobs. Well, I guess they're like 45 to 50. They're not the most awful thing ever. But the thing is, if anybody hits low HP, all of those revenants are gonna come in and, and have a nice little nom fest on, you know, my soul and everything. I would rather that not be the case. So if you'd be so kind as to, like, murder the shit out of this man, I'd be appreciative. Cool. What did I just do? Key match, huh? Sweet. I also like this particular group because it's it's surprisingly powerful. It's much more offensive-oriented. It's not... It's very physical-oriented. It has, like, no magic capabilities to speak of. But I hit pretty damn hard, and I like hitting hard. And that it seems to have very good synergy with, um with skill chains and all that kind of stuff. So, when I actually get a 6th trust person, this is probably going to be a really powerful ability. Oh my god, actual players playing with themselves. What is this? Well, wow, that sounded weird. Um, 
Oh yeah, once I get a six person, adding a mage to this group would probably make this OP as shit. I would just have to make sure that I'm not pulling 15 mobs because they have a nagging tendency to use AoE abilities. As evidenced by the fact that my old character Ashtra got murdered many, many times with Vongal outs. Uh, and who the fuck was the other one I used? It wasn't Semi Lafina. There was one other person that I used from time to time. I think it even may have been Gilgamesh? No, who was it? Who did I use? Darkulin is badass. But who was it? Aruhat, that was the other one. Yeah, she she hurt. She hit hard. She pulled all the things. And I mean she was super powerful, but she pulled all the fucking things. And it made me the, the saddest, the saddest of panels. Okay, so first things first. Uh let's equip the Chad ring. And let's equip the warp ring. I realize that I have no stats in my rings, but like I'm wearing shit here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Give me that experience, yo. Wait, did I lose that buff when I changed jobs? Well, shit. Okay. That's a fairly important piece of information to know if that is in fact the case. Unless unless I just managed to use it, which is also likely. Sup? Sup, yo! Good, good, good. Oh, I'm stunned. You motherfucker. Hey, I'm also getting my ass kicked. I, I hope you guys can heal. Because if not, this is going to be... Highly Did it not actually use my ability? It wasted the TP, but didn't use my ability. Oh, you dick. I do not like you, bitch man. You will die for your transgression. You will get multiple axes to the head. I, I would like to point that out for you, sir. But hell, since I'm going to be pulling multiple mobs, this, this group is a good way to do it. To end my previous uh, thought rather abruptly, but to end it nevertheless. I'm gonna be pulling a shit ton of mobs, I may as well have something that does AoE anyway, because I'm gonna be pulling them, so... May as well do something about it. Also, what is- again, what does Brigidine do? What is his, like, thing? I am genuinely curious as to what his, like, group comp- or what his class composition is, you know what I mean? Murder him. Murder his face. Thank you. I'm not getting bad experience for this too, but if you could thank you. Do I have any item that I can use to like poke this man with? Because I already sent the uh, the pull arms out, and I mean, since I'm here, I may as well try to get a little bit of. Well, never mind. My my axe skill isn't even capped. My axe or my great axe skill, for that matter. My level 40 Razor Axe, sure. Hey, cool, yeah, I can just dual wield small axe and like, actually I can't. Because I'm not Thief or Ninja or anything to that effect, so it's Great Axe all the way across the sky. Also, King Edge seems really shitty, is that actually the case? Should I just be going back to Sturmwind again? Thank you. I'm also going the wrong... Arkin way. Okay, so call for number one. Let's see if I can get lucky. What's up, Tomb Wolf? <laughs> Shut up. It's a stupid joke, alright? I tried. I'm also a little bit on the sleepy side, which is hilarious because I didn't wake up until like nine o'clock in the morning and it's only like 10 o'clock at night, but that's what happens when you're a productive member of society for about five hours and then, you know, you go the entire day without caffeine when you're used to drinking, you know, at least two or three cups of coffee worth of caffeine on a daily basis. <laughs> you can't see it, but my ass twitching. The doctor said we'll go away after a while I'm here. I'm, of course, being facetious. I don't go to the doctor. That is a dark-ass room. Please let me be lucky. I do not think I was lucky. Oh, hey, you're like level fucking 60. How's it going, my friend? And there's also a thingy over there. And he fucking slept me. Alright, that's cool. So, uh, Rujadine, you wanna... 
you know, do some shit here in the vein of like hitting the mob so I'm not tanking him. Pretty please. But then again, I can't bitch. I'm literally wearing something that has plus enemy on it. So this enhances the double attack effect, which means it's actually somewhat useful. Oh, hey, how, how's it going, Daku? Where, where are you going, motherfucker? Where do you think you're going? Where are you going? Oh, we're attacking Semi. God damn it, Semi, stop being an aggro whore. Stop, ag stop being an aggro whore. You're gonna pull the entire freaking room, dude. You know what? You're gonna die and you're gonna deserve it. You're fine. Yep, there they come. Son of a bitch. How's it going? How's it going, my friend? How are you doing? Am I gonna have to two hour? I think I may have to two hour. God damn it. Because Baraha Baraha is now at a mana. Did that miss? Semi. Christ's sake. And Ruji D. Actually, I, maybe I shouldn't be yelling at, you know, Semi for, for doing her job. Uh, in fact, maybe I should be yelling at Ruji Dean for not fucking tanking anything at all and pulling everything known to man. So remember the whole equipping the warp ring thing? This is why I equipped the warp ring. And I would like to still be alive when this casts. Pretty please. Maybe. Son of a- <sighs> Well, we know the thing's not there. At least. Okay, so we're not using that particular comp when we're fighting uh, Incredibly Toughs. Which apparently there were in that particular area. My bad. So Norvellin. LDM Necropolis. 200 kill because I'm sure I made more than that before dying horribly. So there we go. That's a thrilling experience, isn't it? But again, I, I can't really bitch. Because it was my own fault. It was literally my own fault. Okay, so. Let's pull out the tanky ones. <laughs> let's pull out the old faithfuls, because I know that Valeneral can actually hold hate. Uh, there may not, and see, that's somebody with full warrior AF. And to be fair, the warrior AF is actually pretty damn cool looking, the weird, like, you know, tank top thing aside. It's just, the gear is just horrible. <laughs> and this is coming from somebody who really desperately wanted to be a warrior tank. I wanted to be a warrior tank so much, and I would get so mad and so just, like, embarrassed whenever I would require a lot of healing, not realizing that it was just kind of the way the, the game was made. You know, maybe not the game was made. It's just... Well, no, it was exactly the way the game was made. They, they were... They were just too damage sick, you know what I mean? They weren't as good as paladins and people were like, Hey, you just can do this stuff a lot better than warriors can, so, you know, sorry, you're DPS, you know? In retrospect, I should have just become a paladin and called it good. Or a ninja, for that matter. For that matter. And again, like, one of my fondest memories, you know, I've been playing Final Fantasy for like three weeks. And uh, granted, this was the first MMO I ever played, aside from that one hour I played in EverQuest and I got misclicked on a guard, someone got one shot, and then spent an hour trying to find my body in a forest somewhere, kept dying, and I just got frustrated and quit. Oh, that was a good memory. Um, but, you know, aside from... What's up? But anyway, um, you know, one of my fondest memories was, you know, just starting to play the game, and I was a, a little subless warrior, just kind of doing my own thing, and I had a rank 10 tell me, hey, you know, you need to become, I hope please somebody becoming a warrior ninja, you're a really good tank, and I was just like, yay! I'm doing things that people like, yay! You know, and that's basically made me, what made me play a warrior for that long, because I was just like, hey, I'm gonna be a tank, I'm gonna be a warrior, and yeah, you know, little nublet me had no idea what was in store for me. And I was getting angry at things that I shouldn't have gotten angry at because it was my own damn fault. Just pay attention to what's going on. You cannot bend the universe to your will. You kind of have to work with what you got. You know what I'm saying? See, Valeno? See, Rujadeen? That's what you do. You provoke. So obviously Rujadeen's got to be like a paladin, a fencer, or some weird shit like that. 
because he was not holding hate off of Semi. Which tells me that if I'm in a group with Semi, I'm gonna have to have someone that actually can hold hate. Or that I can't chain pull with him. Or or I just need to like suck it up and get better. That probably works too, because oh yeah, I'm a warrior, I have provoke. I could have provoked. What the hell is my problem? I'm genuinely a bit impressed by that. Oh, I think I see a green dot. I think the coffee key's over here. <laughs> coffee key, coffee key, coffee key. Fuck you, Azer. No, it might just be... It might just be the button. That is unfortunate. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking trip, isn't it? Oh, why did I think this was gonna be it? Like, again, I, I, I warned myself into, like, this false sense of security where I'm like, Yeah, you know, I can get the three coffee chests. I can make I can make that, like, an hour-long episode. That seems like a good time. And then forgetting that, you know, even with the key, just trying to find the coffer can be a, you know... Oh, no, you're gonna blow yourself up. Ow. Could you not do that? Please? Could you please? Pinch of bomb ash. To be fair, I could also make this a lot easier by just, you know, going stealth and invisible. And now that I'm thinking about it, why am I not doing that? Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me get some freaking prism powders in it. So! Cyan oil me, please. And then prison powder me on top of that. This will undoubtedly make it much faster. And probably and hopefully less painful. Because going through here, da 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 da. Let me check everything on the first floor here. Because if I drop down here, it takes me to like a weird spot of weirdness. I hate LDM Necropolis. I think I said maybe 15, 20 minutes ago at the start of this episode. I'm like, eh, it's not that bad now that you have the thing. No, this, this, this place fucking sucks. So, question. How long did it take you guys to get your your damn coffer stuff from LDM Necropolis? Is this a common thing? This sort of, like, the derpinessism of it all? Excuse me. Excuse me. That's... Guess a piece of geometry? Sure, why not? There's gotta be a way in through here, right? Surely there would be a method to get in, right? It wouldn't be on the map otherwise. Don't look at me like that. Ah, yes, the, the inroad network thing. Alright. So. There's something green immediately below me. And this is all I got. This is my only other choice available. So if it's not here, then I don't know what the fuck to do. So please tell me that you were here. Pretty please? Pretty please with the yacht on top. This is not boding well for me, and I don't like it. Damn it. What the hell is this human bones thing? Does that teleport you to the strange apparatus? And can I find the coffer before being teleported to said strange apparatus? Why do I get the feeling that the coffer is by that strange apparatus that I don't know how to reach? I would be very displeased if that were actually the case. How the hell do I use that? It's a small skeleton. Okay. Not that I want to teabag the small skeleton, but... Okay. Hang on a sec. FFXI. LDN. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha It is 11.18 in the evening. 
I have finally gotten the goddamn gauntlets. It's literally been like another 45 minutes of me wandering back and forth. This was the very last attempt before going to bed. So my ass is going to bed. Um, and this is probably going to be like super heavily edited because I'm just going to do the other ones and just like put it all in a mishmash together because Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I'll see you with the other covers. Have fun, bye! Alrighty, so I'm back. Uh, I, I went to sleep, I went to work, I came home, I ate dinner, and I'm back doing this again. Uh, hopefully it will be a lot faster for you guys than it will for me. Uh, again, the whole edity goodness thing is going on. Um, so yeah, fuck Eldian Macropolis forever and ever, amen. I am bound and determined to get this damn thing taken care of. Um, I trade my blue eyes white dragon. Um, what the fuck? Do I trade something to it, or do I just touch it? I can't fucking remember anymore. Do I just touch the thingy? I touch the thingy? Yes, I touch the thingy. What'll oh, go down the hole? Yes, Borgerts, you're the one random NPC that shows up as yellow instead of red. Yes, can sign an order, bring shadow flames from Zaval, etc., etc. You walk through me, that's freaky as shit. And at this point, I probably could uh, go back as my warrior, but frankly, fuck that at this particular junction, because I know I need to be warrior for the other two thingies, the coffer McJigs. Uh, but I do not have to be warrior for what I'm doing right now, so for once, I'm pretty much gonna say F that and just fight the shit out of these things and then just kind of call it good. Because, yeah, um... Loot Gardens, at the Mog House, yes please and thank you. And you guys missed it as I was trying to run my way through here before I had started recording again. And I, I was just basically just singing along to the Juno theme, uh, asking where the fuck the box was. Which would be interesting to sing to this tune. Where the fuck is the box? I need to find it. La, la, da, la. Actually, no, I'm not going to because I think it might be a little bit like off kilter. I don't think I actually... Did I change it? Did I change the mixer? Hang on a sec. I changed the mixer. Okay, so it's it's not, uh, like, delayed anymore. Fantastic. Okay, so I need to go to... Veldonia? Sure, that sounds good. I mean, I spent quite a bit of time in Castles of All Baileys as well. Uh getting the fucking coffer key for here, and the amount of setup this time, this this particular episode took, is ridiculous. And it's one of the reasons why I was kind of like, hey, I need to start having a backlog, because uh, they're gonna start killing me. Because uh, this stuff is going to start taking quite a bit of time to properly set up, so it's not just like a grind nation for days. But it's my own fault, because now I'm starting to do like the higher, quote unquote, higher level stuff. Which, admittedly, this probably is not. Uh, because this is all, like, the level 50 stuff that I did on my monk, as a level 50 monk. And it scared the living shit out of me the entire time, bear in mind. I probably didn't need to spawn them. I'm pretty sure I could have actually just... I could probably murder Sparkman McGee pretty much solo. But right now, I'm out for blood. That, seriously, last night, which, again, was probably, like, 15 minutes ago for you guys. If that, uh... That, that seriously took me like a solid two hours of going through. I mean, granted, I actually recorded about, I mean, aside from, you know, uh, the shit show of the first, like, 15 minutes. The literal, like, poop magic thing being thrown on. I can't believe that's actually a thing, by the way. Um, aside from that, there was another 40, a solid 45 minutes of footage before I accidentally turned it off. Because I was trying to search something via Google and forgot that my end key is what turns off my recording. Again, uh, I have a nagging tendency to forget that's a thing that happens. And then after that point, I was just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna wander around and try to find all of these coffer keys. And seriously, it was another solid hour, at least. And I was just about to go to bed when I was like, you know what? Let me try this one area and see if I can make it work. And by God, it worked. And I, I recorded that little tidbit, and then I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to bed. So I went to work very sleepy uh, this morning. 
And again, it's my own fault. I'm, I'm not blaming the game for it. It is entirely my fault. I am a grown adult uh, that makes my own decisions, and those decisions are not always the wisest. But seriously, game, you gotta throw me a bone every now and again. Like, make the call for make farkin' sense, Beavis. And also, if someone were able to let me know how long it takes for a coffee to respawn, that would be like the most baller thing ever. And I'm going to beat the shit out of this Dark Spark because he deserves it. He is the, you know, the Alpha and Omega. He is the cause for all of my ills and he will die for his... For my suffering. Not his suffering, I don't care about his suffering. He will die for my suffering. Because of my suffering. I, did I say that right? Did that work? <laughs> Did that work? I don't even understand. Is this compressor thing effed up? Hang on a sec. This is literally like the normal thing in the jig, so hopefully it's working. I sincerely hope. I have a mute button, right? Found it! I found the mute button, guys. Now, I touch the torch again. Shadow flames! Woot woot. Now, can I just warp back? Am I that lazy? Don't answer that. Don't, don't ask that question. The answer is, in fact, I am actually that lazy. But it's got like a 10 minute cooldown. That's like fucking Hearthstone, uh, Hearthstones and WoW don't have that fast of a cooldown. Even with the buff McBufferson that you can get from guilds. That don't, does that exist anymore? Or did they just roll that into like its own little fine paste? Its own little fine paste. Wait, what? Brain, are you doing okay? What What the hell just went, came through my head? What? I, I, no, I don't want to go to Sandoria. Brain, come on. Again, there, there might be some poor decision making involved in everything that's going on with this episode, so my sincerest apologies if this is basically just like a garbledy gook shit show mess of an episode. And if I didn't get it in- and if it didn't require- well, maybe not choir- if it didn't result in my video probably being immediately taken down, this episode would more than likely just be called shit show. Because it probably is gonna be, I'm sorry, in advance. Uh, repeatedly at that. Now, what the hell am I doing? Where was it? It was like over here, wasn't it? No, was it over here? Maybe? Hello? Mr. Box. I don't think this is right. Is this right? This is not right. Son of a bitch. Where is the box that I need for my quest? To complete, give me my box. I want my box to get my quest finished timely. Please let me find this box. There it is. I am a dumb ass. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up? You're gonna do that- that weird... stuff again? That's cool. Yeah! I got fighters mufflers, bitches! Woo! Okay, now to get the other two coffers. Oh, lordy Jesus, there might be a little bit more editing involved with this. Where the fuck are the other two I need to get? Let's see. Only requirements for this all, you open them with the appropriate job and the appropriate level. The 50 plus with AF2 quest started. Guzla mentioned something about Arium's hand. Da, 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 da. Castles of all Bailey's and Crawler's Nest. Oh boy, oh boy. Will the wonders never cease? The sad part is, I do vaguely remember doing this, going through all of this suffering. Fucking Castles of all Bailey's. Getting the goddamn coffers there. I don't even know how. Like, I was such a nub back in the olden days of yore that I don't even know how the hell I managed to score getting a group even letting me go there. Because I was terrible. I was a warrior. I was a warrior monk. Like, I, I, I sucked. I was bad. And looking back upon it, I feel bad. But they, they, I, I scored a group that, you know, basically carried me through castles of all Bailey so I could get my coffer. 
and Crawler's Nest was just kind of like a, you know, as you're leveling, I was just kind of like, hey, I can get some stuff there. Yes, I was in Crawler's Nest in the 50s. Why do you ask? I actually wasn't, but actually, no, I think I went there. I may have even gone there solo. Maybe do it with a friend of mine. I don't really remember anymore. Which kind of flies in the face of the whole, I remember this movie back in my day. Back in my day. We did things uphill both ways in the snow, and you damn whippersnappers don't know how easy your life's been. Got damn little shitbags don't know what to do with their lives, and them them standing in interwebs, and tell me that I ain't doing my life right, doing I'm doing things wrong. How dare you? You tell me I'm doing things wrong, lady. I'm I'm Mrs. McGee. You don't know shit about me, son. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I have officially crossed. That, that threshold of just insanity all the way across the sky. Man, it's fucking turtles all the way down. You don't understand shit. So, first things first, we're going to Crawler's Nest. Because I don't want to go to Castle. I don't want to go to Castles of All Baileys. Yeah, I spent like an hour and a half in Castles of All Baileys. I got freaking... I mean, I got four of my like... Well, now, now it's four now, but I mean, I got like four limit points in that area, and everything there was several levels below me, so I was only getting like 200 experience a kill. So that should tell you some things of how many mobs I had to kill just to be around there. Okay, so let me get some mappage going on here. Just fuck that. Give me my. Quest map so I can get my stuff. I want to get my quest so I can move on. Okay, I know the music stopped. Sorry. La da da dee la da 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 da. Okay, so. I also have the map for Castles of All Baileys up. I don't want the map for Castles of All Baileys up. I want my map, Sean. Aren't all the coffers? Shit, son. Is this what I'm looking for? Treasure chest, Trevor coffer. Hmm. Fun. Okay, so I've learned my lesson. Maybe. I'm gonna bring out Trust version 2, because they're pretty cool. They're kind of like my B team. I mean, don't get me wrong, Trust version 3, they're pretty cool, because they're all like my AoE murder guys sort of deal. But, uh, Rougie Dean, <laughs> not the best tank. Um, which is unfortunate, because he actually seems like he's super, like, offensively powerful. Which is pretty baller. I like it when they're super offensively powerful. Don't look at me like that. That was not meant to be an innuendo, assholes. Okay. Field support. Yes. I'm going to circumspect. Damn it. I don't care if it only lasts for like 10 minutes, if that. Yeah, 10 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. That's a nice sound. I also love the fact that, uh, these guys don't just do random AoE damage to, to random passerbys. That's a nice feeling. That, like, most, um, actually, a vast majority of other MMOs, if they do, if a mob does sort of, like, AoE damage, it does AoE damage to literally anybody who's nearby, regardless of whether or not you're actually aggro to that creature or not. And I mean, you know, them's the berries and all that, but... It's nice to see a game that does something a little bit different, you know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I don't know why I'm calling people Jelly Beans, but, you know. Shut up, basically. But seriously, I have definitely passed the threshold of just sheer insanity, so you have my sincerest apologies. Um, again, this episode's going to be a total and just utter shit show of all shit showiness. And I'm not really sure why I'm talking quite as much as I am. Because I'm going to be editing the living bejesus out of this unless this becomes like a three hour long episode. A three hour episode. I know that's, that doesn't really work. It's supposed to be like a three hour tour, you know? Gilligan's Island references, motherfuckers. 
I'm kicking it old school. Get out of my face, Hornfly. Well, that didn't sound right. Also, the silence is kind of deafening and it's freaking me out a little bit. I feel compelled to start speaking because there is a lack of music to kind of, you know, take your mind away from the fact that I'm walking through a dank cave. I almost said dank dungeon and now I want to play Darkest Dungeon. God damn it. Meh. On fly! How you doing? There's a surprising amount of people leveling in this area. I don't know why that surprises me, but it nevertheless does. So please tell me Cofferland is over in this- ah, shiza. Did I really go to the wrong area? I thought this was- mm, okay. Well, I can check the coffers down here and make sure there's <laughs> nothing special going on, I suppose. This is all like level 99 town. However, I thank God they're lucky enough, or I am lucky enough that they decided not to really put anything down here that really aggros, you know? Everything here is, it's linking, but there's nothing here that really, that's actually straight up aggressive, so that's a nice little tidbit to make my life a little bit easier, which to be fair, kind of makes sense that they would do that because they did add like a shitload of level 99 area things to this area. And adding that in an area like this where you have to get coffers would be a little bit BS. Oh no! Ah. Oh, that hurt. That that was a that was a sneeze. That that was a sneeze of sneezinessism. Ah. Sorry, that's disgusting. Um. Ew. I need to blow my nose, but you guys don't understand. I need to, like, get things. I want to get my coffer. I want to get my stuff and my things, damn it. The other coffer's over here, and then I guess it's on the other map, predominantly. Am I lucky enough? <gasps> Am I lucky enough to have the coffer down here? Is there a just and merciful god in the world? Well, close enough. Just, I swear to god, if somebody else pulls this thing, or kills this thing, I will be the angriest fucking person of all time. I don't, I give no fucks. Missed coffer key. Gotta fight his mask, bitches! Aha! Uh -huh. Get fucked. Good sir. Yep. And or madam. So, mall wardrobe. Give me that shit, yo! Yep. Fighter's mask, fighter's mask. I can't wear the fighter's mask, fuck! I should have paid attention to that little tidbit. I'm still only level 54. Oh well. I'm getting myself a goddamn fighter's mask and there's nothing you can do about it, you bastards. It's mine, you can't take it from me! Shit. Holy shaz muffins. Uh... Log case? Hey, I have a nest chest key. When the hell did that happen? Like, seriously, when did that happen? Cotton cloth, bone chip. Take, take shit out of my inventory, por favor. There we go. Okay, so that's two down. And then we have fucking castles of all baileys. I mean, don't get me wrong. LDM Necropolis is still worse. By, like, a country fucking mile. I mean, like, all of the country miles put together, because fuck that era. I don't know why I said era and not area, because I forgot additional words. Words hurt. They hurt bad. What the hell is this? I don't want that. Alright, so. Teleportation majigs. Castles of all Baileys. Why is it called Baileys, anyway? Does anyone have an idea about that? Is that- does that have another, like lore element to it, or does- or ouch, I just punched my microphone holder. Damn it, I'm not that mad, me. Mwah. Ouchies. Um. 
But does Bailey's stand for something? Is that supposed to be like a type of... Um... I don't know. Like a type of, uh... This is a mistake, by the way, me spawning these guys, but... Shit, why not? I may as well just go a whole log at this point. Um... Does that- is that like a military term? Does that stand for something? Or is it just because this castle belongs to some dude named Bailey? I realize that's probably an incredibly stupid question, but that's kind of like my bread and butter, you know what I mean? I do not want the survival guide, I want the ground tom. Bastards. I know there's a goddamn ground tom in here somewhere. I know there's a ground tom in here somewhere, you can't tell me there's not. Alrighty. Looks like we fighting boys. Which is fine, because, you know, I need to be level 56 anyway to wear my mask I just got, so. Fuck it! So, Rujadeen, you wanna uh, do some tankage here, my friend. My my non uh, warrior sub friend. I'd be super jazzed. This is gonna be a long fucking trip, I get the feeling. And it's a pretty freaking cool game. Hey, cool, I'm level 56. How the fuck am I getting that much experience? I shouldn't be getting that much from, like, decent challenges. What's one of the things going on right now? Great, now I have to look at it. Damn it, game, you're making me want to pay attention to things. Don't you know better than- ooh! Eh, 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 got my fighter's mask, dude, dude. Got my goddamn plus enmity, because clearly that's what I need in my life, is more reasons to be attacked. But damn it, I wore this shit with pride on my elven. And I would like to think at one point, one day, I will do so again. Long, long after I finish this, because <laughs> you are out of your fucking mind if I'm you think I'm gonna be leveling multiple characters at once. Been a deal day? Something different comes advantage of the on momentous occasion. Take a look at this month's key phrase and enjoy a very special day. How interesting. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. So. In that case, let's EXP like crazy then. Like, seriously, I have no idea. I shouldn't be gaining this much experience, right? These things are not that high of a level. They're actually decent challenges. There's no way! Even with 150 point bonus to experience, I should not be making this much experience at all. But, I mean, I'm down. I'm also a little bit weirded out that all my people that have an insane HP compared to me, but again, I guess that's because, like, they're all super buff now or something. At the 15th of every month, something is going to happen. Seems like this can is going to repeat every 15th, which is 14th in NA. I hope it's like this every time. So I think it's like a double EXP day. So I'm going to say that in my link shell. I think it's double... I think we have double EXP, question mark. Because I have no idea. We are getting way too much experience for what's going on right now. Fucking 2,000 experience for a decent challenge. What is the meaning? I'm fucking level 58? Double or triple, someone was saying triple. Okay, triple EXP makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense to have triple EXP because that, this is a lot of experience, dude. This should not be this high at all. Okay, so run south. Also, I think that's a coffer up there. I'm pretty sure that's a call, or uh, not a coffer, a chest up there. Which is hilarious because I actually have a chest key. Can't do anything with it. You're getting CP and XP bonuses and everything else in the campaigns. Interesting. I like having guilds that actually, or excuse me, uh, link shells that actually have people who talk in them. That's a nice feeling. The whole, like, mega guild trade chat bullshit of the, you know, bygone WoW era. But holy fuck nuggets, I'm getting EXP out the wazoo. And I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm, I, apparently I picked a good day to, uh, you know, to decide to not run through here, I suppose. I think you can access the special battlefields in the Dallas areas and they drop more stuff today. So basically this is like, the 15th of the month is the, hey, please come back and, you know, 
let us, you know, be your doubloon for to die shit. Okay, so we gonna buff ourselves, boys. You guys are not relying upon um magical damage, so this war cry is gonna be this war cry is for you, my friend. So we need to murder the shit out of you, good sir. Actually, murder the shit out of all of you, as a matter of fact. All right, gladiator, my friend. Murder his face, please. But yeah, I'm making 162,000 EXP an hour. That is stupid and hilarious. And I love it. I shouldn't, because, you know, I'm a filthy casual and all that, but it's got amazing. Uh, mark sack. I'll put that in the mark sack. Actually, no, I'm not going to put those in the mark sack, because I will eventually need those at some point. Old Orc Mask, Armin's Tears, Bomb Ash, Revival Root, and Root. Hot damn, you guys hit hard. How's it going? Sup? up? Chicken butt, my friend, because I just keen edged you for only 370 damage. Alright, never mind. That's not as impressive as I was hoping. Did I actually... Okay. That's a decent amount of damage. Oh yeah, I'm like almost level 60. It's kind of sad. Scary and amazing. But yeah, I have to go up on the- wait, do I go up on here? Because there's actually like a gate, isn't there? That prevents me from going to where I want to go. I actually have to drop down to one of these areas and then sort of like walk up. Maybe. I mean, again, I was kind of wandering around this area for, for quite some time to be completely truthful. Uh, okay, castles, evolve. Castle. Evolve. Evolve. Offer locations. Show me the map. Is that the only place for the call for locations? Is like sea land right there? Fuck. I should have actually... Ah, fuck. Well, the game is punishing me for my, like, you know, recklessness when it comes to wordinessism. That's fun. Hey, I also got 6,800 experience for that. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so we're gonna two hour. I'm probably going to die, but we're going to two hour. If if you could heal me, Karaha, Karaha, Karoha, Karoha, my friend, I'd be like super happy. Please. So how about we murder this man? That was pathetic as shit. Come on, man, I'm making 6,800 experience off. All I need to do is kill one of you and we're pretty much gold. But I would like to actually hit one of you ever at some point, please. Pretty please. Mighty strikes, mighty fucking misses. Of course. Luckily enough, I don't have to worry about their mana running out. I just have to worry that, about them actually, like, doing some kind of damage. Please don't kill me, 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 please don't kill me. That is a long casting spell, dude. Karaha Baraha is also out of mana. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna bounce. Yeah, I'm out. I am fucking out. Peace out, my friend. It is not worth it. God damn it, Beavis. I spent all that time getting there. God damn it. Do you hear that sound in the background? That very soft. Ooh. Ooh. Like, oh, that's so creepy and pretty sounding at the exact same time. Oh, this is gonna bring back memories. I know exactly. This is this is what I did beforehand, trying to farm these these mobs in these four particular corner areas, like the Doom Demon, Blood Demons, all that kind of stuff. I was farming this on my monk to get the goddamn coffer key, and it sucked. It sucked so hard, man. Even as a level eighty, I was just like, please, just make my suffering end. Sup? How's it going, Blaze Spikes? 
I also have to remember that in this instance, I am not a level 80 uh, at all, and by, by any stretch of the imagination. So these things will, as, as previously evidenced, uh, they will kick my ass if I'm not careful. So I need to, you know, slow my roll and pay the fuck attention to what I'm doing or else suffering will be had for all parties involved and it will not be happy times. And I'm probably making a- I wanna kill it, it's so pretty! So, I wanna drop... Okay, I see where I'm going now. Alright. I know where I'm going, guys. I know where I'm going. The problem is it's surrounded by, like, level 70 mobs and that's gonna be a problem! Gonna be a slight issue. It may require the popping- well, actually, no, I can't pop my two-hour. Fuck. Alrighty. So there's gonna be a little bit of running on this part. Sincerest apologies, but I guess at this point, if you're if, if you're if you're like 48 episodes into this this goddamn let's play, then I'm sure that you've gotten accustomed to me running around and getting just a just a smidge lost. But this time I'm not lost because I know where I'm going. Don't look at me like that. Yes, I do. Also, my shit's about to wear off, so I need to find a place to uh to hide. In fact, let me do just that. Uh, silent oil. Remember these days, boys? Of, oh my god, my sneak's about to wear off. Find a place to hide, find a place to hide, find a place to hide. I remember those days. So does Pepperidge Farm. Oh, thank God. I thought he was actually going to atta attack me through my invisible and I was going to be so mad because I paid money for those! Dag nabbit! Dag nabbit! I get the feeling that some one day I'm going to get sued by freaking Hot Pockets for abusing their intellectual property. Not even stealing their intellectual property, just abusing it. Because it's a- it's a- bright and beautiful snowflake that does not deserve any of the bad things that have come to it at all. Have you motherfuckers ever eaten a Hot Pocket before? They're disgusting. I don't mean to be rude when I say this, but if you eat those and you enjoy them and your body does not do some angry things after the fact, man, then then you have a much stronger stomach than I do. Cause, no. One. Okay, so it's that gate right here. What's up, foot soldier? Okay, down we go. And I think the coffee key's over this way. I think I went the right direction. Please tell me I went the right direction. I will... Well, just be quite sad, honestly. Damn, these are level 73s. Nerr. There we are, Miss America! Maybe I can do it quickly? Oh, yeah! Oh, thank god my warp ring was up. For half a second I was like, oh my god, please tell me. Please tell me my warp ring is up or else this is going to be unfortunate. Uh, I know I said something about, you know, uh, using this time to, to fight and do things because, you know, I'm level 58 and all that kind of stuff, but I want to get the fuck out of Castles of All Baileys, man. Have you been to that place before? It sucks balls, okay? It sucks so bad. Okay, not the uh, yeah, wardrobe. Give me them legs, yo! Yeah, ouchie, damn it, Beavis. Aha, I got four out of five pieces of this. Now all I need to do is get the Tailkeeper's Gift at level 60 and I will be good to go. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be like a super stitched together mess of just stitched together -y badness and I also look fucking weird. Oh, 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 oh! Ba -ba -ba -ba! Do you have any idea how many years I have waited to see this. To see four piece of the, the fighters thing and then the scorpion harness. Look how goddamn amazing this looks. Look at this. 
This looks like the set. It's not, because the fighter's get- I mean, like, the, the fighter's chest looks a lot like this. Not exactly like it, but it does look a lot like this, but the scorpion harness is so much cooler looking, dude! Look at that shit! Ah! You don't understand how happy I am! I can wear scorpion harness on my warrior! Ah! You know how many years I have waited to be able to wear scorpion harness on my warrior? Ah! Shut up, don't look at me like that. Anyway, if you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Um, I am terribly sorry for the pain that you have endured by watching this, this skits together abomination of badness. But thank you for staying with me and thank you for enduring all of it and, you know, somehow enjoying it in spite of that and everything I do. Um, or, in, in, or that is, what am I trying to say here? Words. Thank you for, you know, sticking with it and somehow managing to enjoy it in spite of everything that I have done to, to the contrary. Like this outro. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, fools.